Rain sum of a binary search tree, lead code 938. It's an EV level question on lead code and I also feel the same. So let's deep dive into the algorithm. Let's hypothetically assume that the low value is given to us as 7 and high value is given to us as 17. And let's start the iteration. We are given the root of the binary search tree and the root here turns out to be 10. Does 10 lie within this range? The answer is yes. 10 is greater than 7 and 10 is less than 17. So what do we do in such case? We need to iterate both its children, the left subtree and the right subtree. Also along with this, 10 becomes the part of our answer. So let's create a global variable and let's add 10 to it. Initially it was 0 and then we have updated this value to 10. Also while invoking its left child, what do we need to take care of? We need to reduce the range that we are looking from for from 17 to 10 because all the elements in the left subtree will lie within the range of 7 to 10 uh, because we are we have moved towards the left direction from the root node. Let's continue the process. Next what do we see? We see the node 5. Does 5 lie within this range? No, 5 is less than 7. So what do we do in such case? We simply move towards its right child and we'll skip the left child in this case because definitely along its left subtree it uh, there won't be any node uh, as per the binary search tree properties let's continue the process next what is the range that is passed here the range remains 7 comma 10 still the same and uh, whether the current node lie within this range the answer is yes so what do we do in such case we add it to the result so the global variable gets updated from 10 to 17 and then there are no more nodes of 7 so we skip skip and abort back and let's iterate through the right child now while iterating through the right child uh, what we can do we can set reset the range from uh, 7 to 17 uh, to 10 comma 17 because definitely all the values will lie starting from 10 in the right subtree of this particular root node so let's continue the process what do we see? We see 15. Does 15 lie within this range? The answer is yes. So we add it to the result. So 15 gets added here. And let's uh, move in both its children. The left child is null. The right child is still there. So while moving towards the right child, what do we do? We increase the range. Of, we reduce the range from 10, 17 to 15, 17. And does there is there the current node lie within this range the answer is no it doesn't lie so what do we do in such case we move toward its left child however in this particular case there is no left child so we abort the process had there been a node 16 here we would have added to the result also in this case we will not move toward its right child because all the values in the right child of 18 will be higher than 18 so which is 18 is already out of range so we don't need to iterate toward its right child I hope you understood the concept and we are done with the iteration. 17 plus 15 gives me 32 and this is the answer. So without much ado, let's look at the coding section where I have coded it up. I have taken a global variable here that will store the sum and I have created a helper method range sum BST helper that will basically iterate over the complete binary search tree. If my root happens to be null, I simply return back. If my current root is within the range of left comma right what do we do i add the roots value to the global variable sum and i iterate over its left subtree and the right subtree also while updating uh, while iterating through its left subtree and right subtree i update the range because root dot value becomes the limiting factor here so the range gets updated to left comma root dot val and while updating uh, moving across its right child the range gets updated to root dot val comma right I hope you understood this concept. However, range reduction is not necessary. Otherwise, I go and check if my root dot current value is less than the left range, left possible terminal value. If that is the case, I move towards right. Otherwise, if, if the current value at the roots node is greater than the right one, the right range value, I move towards its left child. Pretty simple and straightforward. Let's try this up. accepted time complexity is 100 percent faster uh, the time complexity of this approach is order of n there could be case where you have to iterate over the complete binary search tree and uh, the space complexity of this approach is order of log n 
बिकॉज यू हैव टू आइड्रेट ओवर इन अ डी एफ एस फैशन सो दिस ब्रिंग्स मी टू द एंड ऑफ टू डे सेशन आई होप यू इंजॉय डेट इफ यू डेट प्लीज डोट फर गेट टू लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल थैंक्स फॉर व्यूंग इट हैव अ ग्रेट डे हेड एंड स्टेट यू फॉर मोर अपडेट फ्रॉम कोडिंग डिकोडेड आई सी यू टमोरो विद अनदर फ्रेश क्वेश्च